What up, guys? I'm back with another episode of How They Do That, where I take you behind the scenes of cool web pages and show you how to recreate them uh, with cool elements and all the fun stuff that you really want on your pages. But I'm going to show you how to do that with the least amount of effort. And today we're going to look at a testimonials page that just blew me away when I saw it. And there's a couple of reasons it blew me away. Number one, the format of the testimonials is not what I am accustomed, uh, accustomed to seeing. Typically with testimonials, we just see quote quotations, uh, maybe a little avatar showing like who said the quotation, uh, that kind of thing. But um, that's sort of a boring display. And we are so accustomed to seeing that kind of thing over the last 10, 12 years that we maybe don't see it. Uh, as clearly as we probably should. We become blind to things that we see a lot. So when I encountered these testimonials that you are looking at, I was just blown away uh, because they follow a different format and they are functional in a way that most testimonials are not. Uh, to wit, these have videos embedded in them and you can just watch the testimonial right here in line with the, uh, these little displays. Okay, that's totally cool. These displays are known as focus cards, and I'm gonna show you how to recreate this kind of format on your own pages, but it's so cool. We're gonna dive in and take a look at uh, all the little details here that you're really going to enjoy. And like I said, I'm gonna show you how to, to do each and every one of them. And so in order to do this, I've created a page that's similar to this one, but it has uh, nothing on it yet, okay? So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna recreate this cool page from scratch with the Focus WordPress theme and also Focus Cards, a little add-on, and also the YouTube box, another uh, low-cost add-on here for Focus. I will show you how to do that to make these types of testimonials on your own site. And maybe uh, if you're like uh, this person who designed this, maybe you can uh, think of your own creative way to come up with a new spin on something like this. So anyway, let's dive in and take a look at how to do this, all right? So first thing, uh, this testimonials page is centered. The other one is not. You'll see it's uh, left aligned. So we'll go in and, and uh, change that first. So what we're gonna do is just change our focus presentation mode to the focus mode and not the readability mode. Uh, focus is in readability by default, but if you want your stuff center aligned, like a column of text right in the middle, you want to run it in focus mode, and that's what's happening here. All right, next deal. Uh, we've got uh, this first little top paragraph. We've got a drop cap in it, so I'm going to add that in very quickly. We'll go to the visual text mode here. We'll select this letter, and we're going to make it a drop cap. Boom, that's easy. We'll update it. We'll check it. We're happy. Okay. And then we've got uh, this full width section break here. If you watch my last uh, How'd They Do That video where I showed you uh, a full on sales page, I showed you a couple, uh, a couple examples of, of creating these full width content bleeds. And I will uh, show you another example here today. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to scale your sales is the uh, headline here inside this little section. Okay, so I made that a headline and then I'm gonna go above it and I'm gonna say bleed and the color on this one is salmon. So we're gonna say bleed style equals salmon. And then we're gonna go down here underneath our content and close off the bleed. So bl the bleed shortcode, that's what this is. This is a tag style shortcode, which means you have to have an opening and a closing, and that delineates the, the uh, specific text that you want to turn into a bleed, or the specific portion of your content that you would like to turn into a bleed. Okay, and so I've gone ahead and done that here, and there's actually a second bleed section just underneath it, so we're going, gonna go ahead and add that one as well. This one's a lavender, so bleed style equals lavender. I think it's lavender, and I'm gonna do that. So we've opened and closed it, and then we're going to turn this into heading two also. And then we're gonna update it. Okay, so now we've got our full width bleed sections, but what we don't have are these cool focus cards that really make the entire page. The rest is just details. Everything we just did is just details. Now it's time to dig into the meat here. And to save time, we're gonna do three 
testimonials up in this section. We're going to skip these three. And then we'll do these three in the other section. Now, and also to save time, I've gone ahead and created five of these focus cards. So we're, we're already ready to rock. But I want to create this last focus card to show you exactly what was done, the work that was done to create each individual card. And that way you will have a good idea what you're in for here. So I'm going to view the page source to get me the content I want. It's uh, this one right here. And then we're going to go back here. And we're going to go into focus cards and we're going to add a new focus card. All right. This lady's name is Lonnie Nalu and life coach for women. I'm going to copy that. So we're going to say we're going to call Lonnie Nalu and she is a we're going to add a subtitle life coach for women. We're going to center the card content because if you noticed everything here is centered. Okay. So we'll do that. And then the question is, what do we put in the body of the card here? I'm gonna to switch to the text editor, but it's all the same. Actually, I'll do it in visual, just for completeness for you guys. So we are using the YouTube box to uh, make these, uh, you know, these video thumbnails clickable here in the cards. But one thing I didn't mention is that this page still loads super fast, even though there's nine videos loaded on the page. Well, how is that possible? That's possible because the YouTube box for focus enables you to add video links like this, uh, but they are loaded on demand. So the videos themselves aren't actually loaded. Just the indication that there is a video is loaded. And that is way, way faster than loading nine videos up onto the page. It's the difference between a one second loading time and like an eight second loading time on this page. Makes a tremendous difference in terms of how visitors are going to perceive the page and whether or not they're going to interact with the elements on it. Okay, and so here's how it works. The videos are loaded on demand. When the user clicks on one, it's a signal to the website to say, hey, I wanna watch this, and it will load up that video. So watch, I'll click, the video loads, now we can play it. Hi, it's Alec. Boom, all right. So that's how that works. That's the YouTube box, and all you gotta do to create this little display like this, it's too cool, here we go. Uh, we're gonna do the YouTube box here. Here's the ID of that YouTube video, which you can pull from YouTube, very easy. So we're gonna say YouTube ID equals boom. That's the ID of that video, and we're gonna publish it. This is publishing our card. And now, uh, I do wanna do one more thing. I've already grouped these cards. Uh, you, you can add a group to any of your focus cards that you create so that you can treat them all the same way. So for example, I grouped these top three cards together as the top testimonials. And then I grouped these three together as the bottom testimonials. So I'll go in and show you how I did that. I just add a focus card group and we call it coaching sales bottom. We'll add that. We will update our card. And now we've got three cards in the top, three cards in the bottom. And now we're gonna go back to our testimonials page and I will show you how to make your cards output on that page. All right, so right now here's what we have. We have no cards, we're gonna add them. So we're gonna go in here to our page. We're gonna go underneath scale your sales, which is that headline. And we're gonna say card group, short code. And we're gonna say, uh, let's see, card group, group equals um, coaching sales top. And we will update. And here we go. We have three cards outputting, but what we don't have is them outputting three across in a grid. So here's how we can do that. We go grid equals three. We just add that little parameter to our short code. We've already got one parameter specifying which group of cards to display. And then we add another parameter which says, how many cards across would I like to display in the largest screen setting? So a desktop screen. So we'll update, we'll see the results. Boom, look at that, that is sweet. Okay, there's some more stuff that we'll check out in just a little bit, because these don't look just like these. There's differences uh, in spacing and whatnot. We'll tackle all of those details at the very end. All right, for now, we wanna add our cards underneath this other section, and we will do that now. Copy this, because it's very similar. We're gonna go underneath our 
subheadline, we're gonna say coaching sales bottom. We're gonna keep grid equals three because we want the exact same sort of display as we had on top. And we're gonna update it. And we will hold shift, click refresh. And there we go. We did not finish Lonnie Nalu's card though. We did not add the caption. So that was an oversight on my part. So we'll go back, we'll go to edit our focus cards. We'll check them all out. Here she is. So we've got this. Now we wanna add a caption underneath it, okay? So how do we add a caption? Well, here's the caption. Well, let's just uh, I'll copy this. So here's our caption. I'm gonna copy it, I'm gonna paste it into here, into the card, or space down from the YouTube video, and do that. But what I've gotta do now is select this, go to Focus Content Styles, and we wanna make this a caption. Boom, there it is. We'll update. Now let's see what the results look like on our page. Boom, there we go. Now all these cards are uh, behaving in a similar manner. They're all the same width. Uh, they're all the same format. But we do have some differences from these cards. Uh, namely, these videos go all the way to the edge. And I really like the way that looks. For some reason, that uh, I guess it gives the video more space to appear. But it also just, I don't know, it feels right. Uh, all this white space over here doesn't feel quite as, as tied, you know, tied together as, as it buttoned up. It's not quite as nice. So what we're gonna do first of all is change our interior card spacing. In this case, we have too much white space on the sides and on the top and on the bottom. And so what we can do to change that, we can go to our focus card settings. So all we do is go to our, our little admin here. We go to boxes, focus cards. Here's our focus card settings. An alternate way to get there is to go to your focus cards on the left and then just click settings here. Super easy. All right. So we already have some settings that are similar. So like notice when I mouse over a testimonial, it, it raises up slightly. It's got a kinetic hover behavior is what I call that. This also has the kinetic hover behavior. This has a different style of shadowing behind it. I believe this is called soft shadowing. Let's take a look. So this one has, maybe it's subtle. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll try soft. So we'll do that. So we've got the slightly raised behavior. We're gonna do a soft box shadow so it's not as sharp as these. These are very sharp. I like these, but uh, this page has these, so we'll try and mimic that. So we'll do that setting. And then let's see, we have interior card spacing. That is these this white space I spoke about. We wanna decrease that. They're using uh, uh, the lowest possible value here. So we will choose the lowest possible value, X4. Uh, we've, we've made our card background color all white so that it will have a different background color from the bleed on top, you know, the, the, the bleed that's underneath it. We want this to have a white background, but the bleed to have a colorful background. That will make our cards stand out. In order to do that, we have to make sure our cards have a background color, in this case, white. Okay, and we've our card title weights, our cards are bold, or the titles are bold, and uh, the rest is trivial. So let's save these settings and see what we get. Boom, okay, our stuff is tightened up considerably, the interior spacing is tightened up, and this is starting to look very much like uh, these items over here. And how about this uh, shadowing? Is that getting closer? That looks to be about the same to me. Uh, I think their corners are not quite as rounded. We could change that. Uh, here's our corner radius. We'll make it X6 instead of X5. And when we go back and look, our cards won't be quite as rounded uh, see, they're very, very subtle now. Now this is exactly like this one, only the font is different. So now we're getting very close. The only thing we have is white space on either side of the videos here. Okay, the way to fix that, we're gonna need some custom CSS to do this. So all your cards are gonna have a little bit of a padding buffer zone around them. Uh, they were never intended to display exactly this type of format, but the reason I'm doing this video is because this is an, a counter, not necessarily super intuitive way to use your cards, but with very minimal tweaks, you can do this kind of, you know, out of the box, uh, or, you know, outside the box display with your cards. I think that's tremendous. And so we're going to need one little tiny bit of custom CSS to target this, and uh, we will look at exactly what we need to do. I'll show you exactly how to do it. So we're gonna say it's class YouTube inside card text. All right, so here's what we'll do. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna pull up our custom CSS, and we are gonna say dot card, dot card 
is it card body or card text? I guess we'll find out. It's card text. So card text, and then is it YouTube? It's YouTube, all right. So we'll say dot YouTube, and this exact targeting will work for you if you're using focus cards and the YouTube box. This is all gonna work just fine. You'll, you'll just copy exactly this. Uh, and we'll say YouTube, we'll say padding, uh, no, margin left and margin right, margin left minus X4, margin right minus X4. That's uh, variable driven spacing inside the, uh, in, in the focus WordPress theme. X4 is a representative value. It changes based on how big or how little your, your native font sizes are, but X4 will make it scale no matter what you choose. In this case, X4 equals 12 pixels, but if I put 12 pixels in here now, instead of X4, and then suddenly went and made my, all the fonts on my site much larger, well then there wouldn't be enough spacing. Then this wouldn't be right. But if I input X4, I can go into my design options later, make any changes I want, and all of this spacing will still remain perfect, no matter what my settings are. All right, so we're gonna try this. We'll see if we're right. We saved it. We're gonna go in here. Is this our page? Yeah, this is our page. We're looking for this space to be gone. So let's hold shift and click refresh, cross our fingers, boom, perfect. This is looking too good. So there we go. We just recreated this awesome sales page. The only real effort, I mean, besides what I showed you, which I feel like is borderline trivial, was setting up the cards. I showed you how I set up Lonnie's card. I showed you how I made the mistake and had to go back in and add the caption. Okay, but it was really easy to set up. And there's a couple more details I want you to notice here. Pay special attention to how the caption text is this color that's complementary to the bleed background color. And the same thing happens down here. This color is not the same as this color, it, but it, it is complementary to this background color. That is tremendous. Focus will do all this stuff for you without you doing anything. When you use these bleeds in your content, certain elements, block quotes, captions, pre-formatted text, a couple others, will receive this type of treatment to uh, make it stand out so you don't have to do any of this stuff. So it's like, it's like you've got a professional designer right there watching what you do, saying, oh, you did this, we'll make these other adjustments too because I know this is gonna be exactly what you want. Okay, totally cool. So we're gonna go over here and we have the same thing on our page and we didn't have to do anything. It just knew what to do based on what we had selected. So that, and, what, and the actions we took. That is tremendous. This is too good. Anyone can do this stuff with the tools that I, that I talked about. Focus WordPress theme focus cards, and the YouTube box, and that is just amazing to me. So real quick, focus cards, you go to diythemes.com, you click on focus, then you click on focus cards. Uh, there's you know, plenty more information you can get about them there. And then the YouTube box, you go to diythemes.com, click on this add-ons link, and then you scroll down, look for the YouTube box right here, boom, and you can go to the page about it, read more about it, check it out. It's $17 one-time purchase fee there. Focus Cards is $47 one-time purchase fee. And you know, why is it 47 bucks? I don't know, it should be more, it's too good. Why is it only a one-time purchase fee? I don't know, I guess I'm not that good at business. However, you can win for very, very cheap, get these professional design elements for your WordPress website, and suddenly you are designing really, really high impact sales pages, uh, just very creative testimonials, things like this, inline videos, while preserving your performance so your pages are super fast. It's like you are a freaking genius, better than any designer you're gonna hire, and all you got was a couple of, you know, a WordPress theme and a couple of add-ons, and suddenly you are you are seriously high-powered high, high powered here. You're overpowered. It's tremendous stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, pop down to the comments or find me on Twitter. Uh, let me know what you think. Ask me any questions you got. You want to say, hey, how'd you do this? Or you didn't mention this, whatever. Uh, let me know. I'm happy to uh, answer any and all questions you may have. But I hope you found this instructive. And I hope you are uh, you know, now motivated to go out and use these elements to create your own awesome pages and elements on your own site. All right? Thanks for watching. Take it easy.